Hey there everyone, just a quick simple look at a few spinners I have here. Now these are a simple comparison of three metal spinners. Now I'm no spinner expert and this isn't a full and comprehensive diagnosis or anything. Just to give you an idea if you're looking at different spinners uh, about some that are out there. Now the first one I have here is just two blades. It's made out of all brass and it does have weight to it. Give you a look at that. And this one said it had the stainless steel bearings. Now most of these you can remove these little covers and look at your bearings. Give you a look there what that one looks like. The stainless steel bearings. Okay. And it's good to have access to your bearings because you will need to be cleaning the bearings. If not, it, you'll notice it will start to spin less. Okay, there's that one. And then here I have one made out of all aluminum. So it's metal, but it's an aluminum alloy, so it's very, very light in weight. This is a tri-blade. Just to give you an idea, this one said it had a hybrid bearings, the stainless steel rings, and then the ceramic balls. Okay. And then my last one here, which happens to be my favorite, this one is made out of um, copper and brass. This one is nice and heavy. I just love that heavy feel in my hands. Solid, beautiful. And this bearing is, a, all it said it was uh, that it was ceramic bearings. It didn't specify it was full ceramic or a hybrid. But this one does have a shield on the bearing, which is awesome because that shield will actually keep dust and stuff from getting in there. You still got to eventually clean it and there's some tutorials you just how to remove that shield but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so I like those shields that protect the bearings. Alright, now just to give you a look how each one operates, this one I noticed wasn't all that great. If you keep it straight it's fine but if you start moving it, basically it starts wobbling, so it's going to stop spinning. Let you hear that. You can actually hear it wobbling when you move it around. So it's still a pretty good spinner, but mm, you can't, it wobbles, and I don't like that wobble. And it really doesn't spin for that long. Okay. Now the aluminum one, it's pretty cool. It's quiet. You can move it around. You don't feel wobble. Okay. And it spins for pretty long. That one's nice and quiet. Now my copper and brass one nice and quiet nice and balanced you can move it around you don't get any strange wobbling and I noticed that this one goes for the longest time continually spinning now I don't want to have to make a six minute long video but just so you get an idea let me just put all these to go here. Now I'm getting a, a louder sound because it's vibrating on my wooden desk here. And of course the, the amount of time it spins, it depends how hard you flick it, how clean that bearing is, so there's a lot of factors here. This is just to give you an idea. Most of them go for about a minute, minute and a half with no problems. My middle one is slowing down a little. It seems to me like the heavier ones spin for longest. The ones made out like heavy metals. And I'm going to stop the video now because this will be really boring but as you see 
aluminum starts to go first. That one's starting to slow down <laughs> also. And the problem I had with this one, of course, was that wobble I didn't like. Now I want to see how long it goes for. <laughs> Okay, that one's about stopped basically. And my favorite, copper and brass, still going strong. Okay, so hope at least I gave you a couple of little tips there and just some more info than what you started off with. If not, like I said, I'm not an expert. This is just a little introduction to the metal spinners. Thank you.